Hello guys, it's me Tori and welcome back to my channel for another video. So you might recognise this sim that I am starting with because I've done a few videos on her now. This sim is Bryn Hamilton and she is my sim that I use in my legacy current household. Um, she's a really good sim and in my current household she's an elder. Uh, she's not that far away from death now, which is kind of sad because um, Bryn was my legacy sim, you know. She was a really important sim to me and I'm just very, very sad. Like, I'm going to be sad when Bryn dies. I decided to give her a makeover, a base game makeover, and I also gave a makeover to her children as well. Uh, this is because I really... I've seen a lot of people do... Um, Sims 4 save files and I want to do a save file of my own. I I mean, it's a stupid idea. I don't know if I'm ever going to complete the save file, but I mean, I hope I will do. Uh, so I'm starting on Willow Creek. I've already done one starter home. I started this like ages ago now, like I've done this starter home and I'm just going to fill up Willow Creek. I'm going to have a, a whole a whole um, save file playlist on my YouTube channel, hopefully. And the aim is to create my save file by, I don't know, like next year, probably when like The Sims 5 comes out. But it's it's a fun idea and I recently got The Sims 4 Get to Work so I can do all of the worlds now apart from Granite Falls so that's fun. But for people who don't know about this family I thought I would tell you a little bit about them. Also by the way they are on the gallery, my origin ID is Tori Fox, literally the same as my YouTube username so you should find that. Um, Please get me to 100 followers. Uh, <laughs> I'm at 94 followers on the gallery, which is kind of cool. I know, it's cool. Uh, not to flex or anything. I mean, people have got more followers than me. I'm not, like, gallery, I don't know, famous or whatever. <laughs> but um, I, thought, I thought I'd tell you about this family. So we got Bryn. She's the mum of this family. And in my legacy, she's had two relationships now. She dated Simeon Silversweater. And she also dated Dylan Sigworth. And she got engaged to Dylan Sigworth. They were going to get married. And then she turned around at the last minute. And she was like, no, actually, don't want to marry you. So B and Brie, yes, I know. Very difficult to say. Very hard to remember. <laughs> They're twins. Their name is Bryn. I have Bryn, B, Brie, and Ben, which is a lot. Um, they don't like each other particularly. There's beef. There's tea between them. There's issues, you know. Lovely, but they are like the opposite twins, like the very stereotypical opposite twins. And their dad is Simeon Silversweater. Uh, they were originally spellcasters, but well, in my game, Bree still is a spellcaster. But I wanted to make these base games, so because I, I, they're like my favourite family, and I wanted them to be accessible to everybody, so I just made them base game. And I had a copy of them saved to the gallery, but I didn't have Bree, so I just added her in at the end, which you'll see. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, they don't like each other particularly. And Ben is like their half-brother because um, Bryn had Ben with Dylan Sigworth. Uh, she broke up uh, Dylan and Jess's marriage to eventually not get married to Dylan, which is kind of sad. And I believe he still lives in that house with Jess and Christy. I think Christy might have a child now because of MC Command Centre. Um... MC Command Center, if you don't have it, is a mod for The Sims 4 created by Deadpool, and it's such an important mod to have in your game because it's so good. Like honestly, um, it's such a good mod. Like you get story progression, you get to control your town, change the season, change the weather, cheat for money, cheat your Sims mood. There's so many things you can do. Cheat your Sims pregnancy. Like, there's so many options available using MC Command Center. And it's kind of wild because sometimes the random townies in your game end up dating, getting married. Honestly, the worst thing that's ever happened due to story progression in my game was probably that Judith Ward got married to Malcolm Landgrab. Yeah, I, I knew she liked younger men, but... Ugh. and she had children with Malcolm Landgrab and I was like wow they're made for each other they're entitled they're snobby oh really bad but story progression's fun though it adds a bit more life and volume into your game um I got sidetracked now I'm sorry but I honestly love this family okay um Bryn she is a garden freak she loves gardening um B loves art 
Brie just loves socialising. That like that's her thing. She's very outgoing, but she's a bit mean. Um, in my actual legacy, I don't think she has the mean trait, but I wanted something base game. I think she had like the self-absorbed trait, but I wanted her to be base game friendly. So she's mean. <laughs> And Ben is just as cute as ever. I didn't really need to change up his outfits a whole lot. I mean, he had CC hair that needed sorting, but I think he looks most true to himself. And I don't know, I feel like the base game hairs really didn't do my poor Simmy's justice, you know? Those base game hairs. I mean, I like Bee's hair. It's, it's probably my favourite base game hair. When I first started playing The Sims 4, I only had The Sims 4 base game and The Sims 4 cats and dogs. And I used this hair all the time. It's like my favourite base game hair. It's actually such a nice hair. And people look at it and they're like, it's base game. I don't want to use it. But actually, it's a good hair. It's a nice hair. It's probably one of my favourites. I like it a lot. I mean, I'm being very sad just talking about hairstyles in The Sims 4 that I like. But oh. I really cannot wait to start with this whole save file thing. I know it's going to take me ages. But hopefully, we're going to find a bit more time at the minute. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to finish this save file, I don't know, before next year, I hope. I, I have big plans for my save file. I'm going to try and limit my packs a little bit, because there's not that many save files out there that are sort of pack limited. I want this to be accessible to pretty much everybody. I want it to be fun, and I want to have fun making it, and I think that is the main thing. Like, that's the main aim <laughs> with the save file. So I'm going to go soon because we're coming up kind of to the end of the video. Uh, let me know who is your favourite sim in this Hamilton family. Honestly, I could go on about them for ages. I've done four current household videos on this family now. I love playing with them so much. And I thought, you know what? I love this family so much. I'm going to add them to my save file. So they're iconic. They're cool. Can't wait to make more families. Oh my god, this is so cool. I love this, honestly. Best thing I've ever done. This whole save file plan is so cool. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm going to go. Please don't forget to like and comment subscribe. And I hope you have a really good day. And I will see you guys next time.